Hi there folks and welcome to another Army Rumour Service kit review. Today we are looking at two of the products from the Master Lock Smart Connected range and that's the key box and the padlock. We are all familiar with these pretty basic bits of kit but they've been brought into the modern age kicking and screaming uh, through the use of Bluetooth connectivity. And we'll have a look at what that means for us in a second. First of all however, just to keep you interested with that little carrot dangling in front of you the padlock is up for grabs. Uh, Masterlock have very kindly donated it to uh, the review competition side of things. So if you do want this little bad boy, pay attention throughout the review as there will be questions at the end. Uh, and one of you lucky little scamps could be walking off with this to no doubt cause merry chaos and havoc. So, straight into it then. As I've discussed, they are Bluetooth connected. What does that mean for us? Well, it means things are a little bit more complicated now. So they work off of an app called the Master Lock eVault. Give you a brief overview of it. You basically authenticate your phone with the app to each device that you want to use. Each device has its own individual authentication key. Once that's done electronically, they're as secure as can be. Only you with your smartphone, with the authenticated uh, account, can talk to either of these devices. They're not publicly visible on Bluetooth uh, and they are digitally encrypted. So the chances of somebody hacking into it, well, I'm not an expert in that field, but certainly I'd imagine a hell of a lot less likely than somebody having a look at it and striking it with a hammer to see if they can get into it. So in terms of digital security, I'm not overly concerned with it at all. The app, as I say, lets you control both devices and it's the app that has the functionality and the, the power behind it. Uh, without boring you too much, if I take, for example, the uh, padlock, first of all, I can unlock it with the app. It's pretty pointless, but pretty, you know, kind of par for the course for any Bluetooth bit of kit. What the app lets me do, and this functionality is duplica uh, duplicated across both of these devices, so we'll only cover it once. It lets me basically control the access who has access when they get access to the device. Now traditionally with the mechanical uh, key box and the mechanical padlock you're either sharing a key or you're sharing a uh, pin code uh, and the box only has one pin code because it's a mechanical box so once you gave that pin code out you effectively lost control of the security of these devices. Same for the key, same for the pin code. Bluetooth changes that. You have one primary code which is yours and you can then create five secondary codes. You can create a number of guest codes uh, that you can share through your contacts list and you can also create future temporary codes. Let's say you're on an Airbnb or a guest house or let's say you have a plumber coming around to do a bit of work on the house. You want them to get access to the stuff uh, in the key box or you want them to be able to unlock the padlock that's securing whatever it is. You could issue out through the app a temporary key uh, for a time and date in the future. So let's say it's next Monday and he's coming out at 4 p.m. You can issue him a pin code which will only work from 4 until 6. 1400, sorry, 1600 to 1800 hours. And that means that you don't have to worry about that pin code then being compromised. So cracking bit of functionality really does help uh, in terms of just limiting the exposure of the contents of this or whatever this is protecting. The other good feature about the app is that it actually shows you the history of the lock. If you look here, uh, if you can see it, and if you can't, I can only apologies. Uh, but basically what we have here is a history of the app, which shows when the app, or sorry, when the, the product was accessed, who tried to open it, if you've got an account for them, or what PIN code opened it, uh, or more importantly, any failed attempts. So you know that if at three in the morning there's been a failed attempt on these to get into them, you're going to have to start upping your security measures uh, and find out what's going on there. So the app is very powerful. It is the, the sort of core of these products. Um, and without the app, they're just a box and a padlock, but it's the app that really does give that, that uh, functionality. I'll put that aside just now. The other good thing about these products is that they are battery powered because they are electronic. However, Master Lock have taken into consideration what would happen if the power were to go on them. You can conduct a technique called battery jump, which is when you swap out the battery uh, and do so in such a manner 
that basically the information is retained within the devices and it isn't lost during that period of power uh, outage. And that's fully explained in the manual. So looking at uh, the actual physical robustness, we'll put the padlock to the side. The key box is a standard dimension for any sort of external key box. Uh, it can be used as I say outdoors or indoors. It is designed for outdoor use. My only gripe here is it doesn't have the, the sort of black rubber sheath that a number of the outdoor models have from the Master Lock range. I would like to see that. Uh, not so much to protect from the elements because it will survive outside. It's more about keeping it discreet, keeping it out of sight, out of mind. Uh, however, they don't currently supply it, but I'm sure you could go about and source one uh, from either one of the other models or perhaps some other sort of makeshift cover for it, just so it doesn't scream out, I'm a key box. In terms of the weight, yeah, it's good, good robust bit of kit. Uh, it's not going anywhere once you've got it affixed via the four screws to a solid bit of uh, internal or external uh, feature. And as I say, very robust. In terms of points of uh, vulnerability, the case sits, or the face of the, the box sits flush. All you have here uh, are the two lips at either side for pulling back on. There's nowhere really to dig in anything like a crowbar or a chisel or anything like that. It's going to be very, very tricky to try and force this open. So I'm not really concerned about that. Certainly I've been using an older model that's just a mechanical pin uh, for quite some time and it's worked very well. In terms of access, you bang in the pin code that comes with the instructions. You hear the click, pop the lid and you're in. So as you can see, standard key box size for external use. Stick your keys in. It's got a CR123A battery, which is a sort of little round fat uh, cell. And again, you can unscrew this to do your battery jump feature. Uh, it's a key box. It's robust. Certainly, in terms of some of the mechanical models, I'd say this is probably more secure uh, than most because it has the two uh, bars on the, the lid with the, the sunken recesses to catch in. I don't know if you can just see them there. Whereas in the model I have, uh, personally, it's only the one uh, drop-down bar. So I would say this is more secure as well. It's not currently accredited or rated. I don't know if Masterlock have plans to put it through something like Secure by Design. Uh, but again, I would suggest I'm not overly excited about the, the vulnerabilities of this box. It's very well made, very robust. Once you slam it shut as well, it automatically drops the bars in place. Just as when you open it, it does have a default auto lock time of five seconds. You hear it click and you see the light. You can adjust that as well. You can change it up to, I think, 60 seconds before the, the lock kicks back in. Cracking bit of kit. Again, with the, the Bluetooth app, it really does give it a whole host of features. Uh, and especially the fact that with the backlit key plate, when you issue out a new pin number, you know who's got it. You know then that if something goes wrong, the key goes missing, or something happens to whatever this is securing, it's a step for a hint that some, uh, you know, Mr. A or Mrs. B had access to the key box at that time and that date, and the history shows they accessed it and the key's missing. Crack a bit of functionality. Put that to the side. In terms of the padlock, very similar. No key. We're using the up, down, up, down, left, right, left, right sort of combo. Uh, on the keypad as if you're playing the old Mega Drive or NES and you're sticking in a cheat code. It's got the battery, again, which is one of the little round uh, sort of cell batteries. And the same idea, you put the pin code in, the shackle releases, and you pull it up. Uh, I will try and do this right. Hey! And that's it, green light, shackle up. It's nothing, it's a padlock. And then you slam it down, and it auto-locks uh, again. Same as with the key box, they both share the same auto-lock function. In terms of pricing, the key box itself then retails for £124.80 if you're on safe.co.uk. Uh, you can get it elsewhere at far greater prices, such as Amazon. Masterlock don't sell direct, they don't set an RRP. Do shop about before you buy any of these things because you may find them cheaper elsewhere. And the padlock is £79.99 again from safe.co.uk or again more expensive on Amazon. So I've kept it short, I've kept it sweet, because it's a key box and it's a padlock. It's not reinventing the wheel, it's simply adding in a few new spokes to it. Let's not beat about the bush, 124 quid for a box. It's pretty damn expensive. Uh, I think they 
good solid external key boxes uh, the master lock do without any of the Bluetooth technology you're looking at about 40 uh, to 50 quid certainly no more I can't recall how much the one I got was but I can guarantee you I wouldn't have spent any more than 40 quid on it would I recommend it well yes I would well, purely for the uh, Bluetooth functionality because it is a game changer I have quite a lot of people that have to access my house, such as the domestic staff, and I don't want to give out my master code. Uh, in fact, every week I have to go and change it, just because a week's too long for one code to be kicking about protecting my house keys. So this solves that problem. I can issue temporary codes, uh, I can control who has access, and with the history feature, uh, I can tell when somebody's accessed it. In terms of the padlock, 80 quid for a padlock, yeah, now, now we're pushing it a little bit, I think. But again, it depends on how you're going to use this. If you're using it in a workplace to secure tools to benches uh, that perhaps get taken out on a daily basis, all that sort of stuff, there is definitely deployability there uh, and functionality for this. But this has to be weighed up more so than this, I think, just for the cost difference. The one thing I should highlight, which I realise I've failed to do so, I shall take myself out and thrash myself around the square later on, is that neither of these devices have internet connectivity. Anything you do with the app must be done within Bluetooth range of the devices, apart from when you're creating new PIN codes. Because, because they, they both share the, the same codes, sorry, the same digital key, they can both generate codes uh, with the phone being remote. It doesn't need to be connected to them. But overall, innovative driving forward a bit of change and actually one of the first reasonably good uses I've seen for Bluetooth connectivity in a tried and tested uh, product for some time so well done master lock on that and yeah this definitely recommend this just have to make sure it's right for you and again safe.co.uk that's it folks thanks very much for watching and we shall see you next time on the army rumour service kit reviews that's right folks it's now competition time. The only reason you've watched the whole length of that video. Uh, we don't currently have anyone doing uh, the music for this little bit of intro, so if you'll give me a few seconds. ArmyRumorService.co.uk proudly offers you the opportunity in conjunction with Masterlock the chance to win this very fine smart connected padlock retailing $79.99 yours for hee haw if you can get the next bit uh, right you've also sat through and watched the review you've been taking notes sorry that was a waste of time all you have to do is pop on the army rumour service uh, which is arrse.co.uk ars.co.uk pop onto the review page for this and you'll see the comment section at the bottom in the comment section simply Fill in the blanks. If I won the Master Lock Smart Connected Padlock, I would lock up... Dot, dot, dot. Simply explain to us what you'd lock up with this little bad boy. Now, this is the Army Rumour Service, so we have a scale of 1 to 10. 1 is family friendly, 10 is you're getting jail time for what you've said. For this, we want the answers to be around about a 3, pushing a 4. Master Lock is a very family friendly uh, company so let's try and keep the responses reasonably inoffensive and the winners will be declared when I can be bothered to put an end to the chaos that's going to ensue. But that's it folks, best luck to you, hope you enjoyed the review, as I say we're getting our, our sort of feet into this and really try to understand how best to deliver these reviews, comments and feedback, I can't handle it, I don't do negative criticism well so just keep it to yourselves or leave us a note on the review page. Good luck and see you next time.